everybody welcome back to talk with naya so let's get started with megan the stallion megan had a lot to get off her chest after the whole announcement of the sentencing of tori lanes listen to what she had to say yeah, fight with me fight for me i really appreciate y'all so today i just want to say so i'm guessing that megan's gonna be back outside and i'm wondering when she's gonna start to put new music out again and everything like that but i'm guessing we're gonna start to see megan a lot more than we have in the past year now let's move on so Nicki minaj previews a snippet of a new song what do y'all think i definitely want to hear the whole song it seems like something i would like and we know her album is going to be coming out very soon like it feels so far away but it's really not that far away and then speaking of Nicki minaj cardi b ties with Nicki as the female rapper with the most number one hits on u.s rhythmic radio with them both having 11 so congratulations to both of these ladies now let's move on to Beyonce. Beyonce gives a shout out to her previous dance captain, Ashley, during the Renaissance tour. Now it looks like Ashley showed up to the show and Beyonce made it clear that, you know, they're fine. They're not having any issues because as we know, Ashley isn't a part of this tour. She's not dancing with Beyonce she's been with Beyonce forever okay she's always up there with Beyonce on her tours but not for this renaissance one and we also talked about how Ashley was kind of caught liking some posts that didn't necessarily show Beyonce in a positive light so a lot of people thought that they were beefing and that there were issues but clearly there is love and support on both sides so I was happy to now lastly I didn't talk about Holly for a little minute now, we all know that she dropped her new song called Angel. And do you guys think that the marketing of this song has been kind of lackluster? Well, you know, it's starting to become a topic. I've seen this come up, right, in regards to how the writer's strike is affecting this. Listen to this. So I had planned on making a video of how the strike is affecting the music industry until I saw this tweet this morning and I wanted to make it today. Essentially, this Stan account is asking how Hallie's song Angel is being handled. No radio interviews, no talk shows, just Twitter promo. Now, we talked about how a lot of Stans don't really understand the plan in regards to a label launching a project like an EP or an album, let alone a single. Here's the thing. There are two big strikes happening right now. WGA as well as SAC. Late night has been shut down since May 2nd. Without writers, you can't have late night. So there's no late night talk shows. If SNL was back um, in season, they would be shut down too. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be back until probably January if we're out of the strike by then. And this is the SAG being on strike. It's going to hinder a lot of artists who are also actors because they do that dual promotion. And a lot of labels bank on that because they get to have basically not discounted promo, but like it's easier to promote their stuff that way. Now, in regards to what actors can um, do that are artists, they can do commercial work, such as television, radio, and digital media. The thing is, with radio, it is hard to book all that out in addition to your schedule. And in regards to magazine covers, one, a lot of investment goes into a whole project as a whole, when it's done, like an album or even an EP doing a full marketing promo run for just a single that's for an album we don't know is coming out yet is not a good investment also when it comes to magazine covers those get booked out like months if not a year in advance hence why you have all these covers and promotion for projects that have come out within the release of this cover sony and columbia and parkwood have been taking care of holly just fine just because it's not at the pace that you want it to be does not mean that it's a flop or a project or it's being mishandled Con now i can agree that i haven't seen her do like interviews and stuff like that extra promotional things in regards to this new song i can agree there 
I don't know if it's due to the writer's strike. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I am rooting for her. And I definitely want to hear more music from her. Because I feel like she got some bops in the stash. You know, when we were waiting for the Little Mermaid movie to come out. And she was playing little snippets. I feel like she got some real nice songs that I would like in her stash. And I definitely want her to put out some more singles. And I want an album. I just want to know what it's, what it's going to give. I just want to hear what it's going to sound like. Because I think I would really like it. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.